Hey, what's going on everyone? No Zoop for you here, and I'm going to do something I have not done in a very long time. I used to love doing weapon reviews for Battlefield, and since I've been playing Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and Black Ops a lot, uh, because Warzone, I think I'm going to do my first weapon review in a very, very long time. And I'm going to focus right now on the new Tech 9, which has come to Season 5. Now, the... Tech 9 is an SMG, it's semi-automatic, and right now it has become one of the best SMGs out there for not only Black Ops, but Warzone. And right now I'm going to focus on a sub-level 30 loadout. Uh, this is for you all that might have just unlocked it or got it, and you're not quite towards the very end of the weapons grind, so it's still very new to you, and I want to focus on what you should be using sub-level 30 to get the most out of this weapon and to kind of get yourself towards that maxing out of the weapon. So I'm going to cover the loadout itself. I'm going to cover the perks I use and the pros and the cons. Now, when we define an overpowered weapon, we think of a weapon that even an average player can do very good with. Now, I, I'm not completely average at Black Ops and Warzone, so I'm a little bit slower because I'm a little older now in that over 40 age group, uh, but I, I like to think that I haven't lost too many steps. I can still compete, so <laughs> keep that in mind with this. I primarily play Black Ops to rank up weapons for Warzone. I think a lot of you are at that point right now. Uh, I do plan on using the Tech 9 when I fully max it. I'm not going to use it quite yet because it's just not there. Uh, because of this fact, that's why I play a lot of Nuketown. It's a quick way to rank up weapons very, very fast. So what is the sub-level 30 loadout for the Tech 9? Well, I start by using Gunfighter. I like to unlock every single weapon slot possible as I rank things up. I, I just feel it's better that way. You can get the most out of the weapon. I use the 2x sight on this. This gun is very surprisingly good at range, and that 2x helps you get that range more so than the other optics. I don't find that I lose any aim down sight time with it, so I, I just feel comfortable with that. And again, that's me because I'm a little older, again, lost that step, and I like to use this weapon at medium and long ranges as well, which it's very good with. Now, the second one's very important, and that's the burst fire repeater. This weapon can be very, very painful until you get this upgrade. It is a semi-automatic SMG because of that. It's very dependent on how good your aim is and how much you shake when you fire repeatedly. So keep that in mind right now. This weapon can be very, very painful at first. I use a 7.3 inch heavy for that extra range and velocity. Steady aim. This weapon has very, very good hip fire, or at least decent hip fire. I don't want to say very, very good, but with burst and hip fire, you can do pretty good damage against enemy players. I use patrol grip for that sprint speed, 30 round mag. I don't bother with fast mags or anything else. In the very beginning, that's all you're gonna need. Uh, 30 rounds is more than enough when you uh, fire semi-automatic. And then again, when you get that burst fire, 30 rounds good because that's the biggest mag you're gonna have. Sub level 30. I use the field tape for flinch resistance, collapse stock for that sprint to fire time because I like running and gunning with this thing. Now for my perks, I use engineer. Kind of an odd choice, some of you might think, but there's a reason for that. I also run the care package. I like running care package on smaller maps where you might not have enough time to get the uh, bigger things like gunships or anything like that. So that engineer gives you the chance to reroll crates and this round actually, it worked to my advantage. I was able to get something uh, <laughs> very nice. I use Assassin, that's just kind of a throwaway, and then Gung Ho, once again, because I like to run and gun with this weapon. So, let's talk about the cons of this weapon, the Tech 9. This weapon is very, very painful until you unlock the burst mode. It can be challenging for players that don't have steady hands, it can be challenging for players that aren't more run and gun and can do things on the fly, so keep that in mind with the Tech 9. It also starts off with a pretty smallish mag, but that really doesn't matter because, again, it's a semi-automatic SMG until you unlock that burst mode. And really, those are the only cons that I can think of right now. Now, for the pros of this weapon, holy crap. Once you unlock that burst mode, this weapon becomes absolutely beastly. And again, I'm working towards that fully maxed, full automatic version of the Tech 9, which you have probably run into an awful lot right now. That thing is absolutely disgusting. 
Tech 9 has decent hip fire. You're able to take out some enemies with two bursts if you got good aim. It's very good for running and gunning. It's got decent time to kill. It's pretty powerful for an SMG and it's got good range, especially when you slap that two times scope on there. So you can get your long shots with this thing. I, I mean, overall, guys, this weapon's good. This weapon might be a tad OP. And that's not even a fully maxed Tech 9. I mean, once you fully max out this thing, this thing is going to hum. So this is the sub-level 30 loadout you want to go with. Even when it's not fully maxed, this weapon is absolutely beastie. It's probably a little on the overpowered side. It's kind of up there with the Otis right now. I know a lot of players are using this for meta along with the Otis. Bullfrog's still good, but for Warzone, this is definitely going to be a go-to. Guys, that's my quick review on the Tech 9. Let me know what you think of it. Hope y'all are doing wonderful. Take it easy. Zoop out.